often talk about nitrogen fertilizer, uh, that we should think about it as being a supplement rather than a fertilizer. The reason why I say that is because each time you put out nitrogen, you should be thinking, what response will I get to nitrogen and how does that stack up economically against the options that I've got of buying in alternative feeds? And that comes to the story of nitrogen efficiency. And nitrogen efficiency is really the slope of the response that you get to nitrogen. What we mean by that is you've got past your growth rate and you've got the rate of nitrogen that you're going to apply or the amount of nitrogen you're going to put on. And how steep this response is, how much extra pasture you get for every one kilogram of nitrogen you put on is really critical. So we talk of 10 to 1. So you're getting 10 kilograms of extra pasture growth for every one kilogram of nitrogen you invest. So if you're putting 50 kilograms of nitrogen on, you're going to get 500 kilograms of extra dry matter grown on the farm. Now this slope changes through the year, depending on the rainfall, the temperature. At the peak of spring, it can be well over 10 to 1, which is very, very economic. But when we come into the drier parts of the year or the autumn break, that can be down at 5 or 6 to 1. And the break-even that we find, which, which is the break-even is about 6 to 1, which means that if you're only getting 6 kilos of extra dry matter for every 1 kilogram of nitrogen invested, often it's cheaper to feed your cows by buying grain or buying hay or buying silage or some other, some other product. Um, and so the, the slope of that line is really, really important. Now there are tables that you can look up on the nitrogen.unimel.edu.au website and they will tell you what that likely response will be to nitrogen at each month of the year for different regions in southeastern Australia. Um, and as I said, that, that can vary from February, for example, during the dry February. That can be well below 5 to 1, in which case it's far cheaper. Unless you've got irrigation, it's cheaper to go somewhere else and buy your feed. During the spring period, commonly that is uh, well over 10 to 1, being very economic to use nitrogen. The, the rate that you choose, somewhere between the 20 and 50, that depends on how much extra dry matter you now want on the farm. Do you need an extra 200 kilograms per hectare, in which case you put on 20? Do you need an extra 500 kilograms per hectare, in which case you put on a higher rate of nitrogen? As long as that is a fairly certain slope, that 10 to 1 would mean 200 extra down this end, 500 extra up that end.